I have Tom Watson, who I think has probably the cushiest gig in caddying, don't you? So yon you. Now tell me, there's got to be some vices there. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, pretty hard to work for. No, yeah. no, you, no, that's not what you told me last week. Kate and I were sitting with you last week and we said, do you, is there ever anything, is there any little bits that you can tell us, a little bit of gossip? And you went, no, nah, she's no. perfect. What's, yeah, the, what's the worst thing she's ever said to you? Um, one time I threw all the brand new golf balls out before tee off the driver. She was tee, so we had no golf balls in the bag about 15 minutes before tee off. That would be a sackable offence. Yeah, that would be. But For she, anybody else. She just turned around and she goes, oh, oh, this is going to be tricky playing with one golf ball. Today. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst thing she said. She went to the locker and got five new balls and that was the end of that. Because, Tom, we always, in the commentary box, we always say, and you feel like you repeat it, like, this is the nicest girl in golf. And, and she clearly is. I mean, so you're on... And, and you told me she doesn't forget a Pro-Am player's name and she emails mm. everybody. Pretty much, yeah. I, the Canadian Open this year was a bit of a shock. We had three holes to go and she was like one shot in front and it was like a high pressure moment and she saw this guy that she played with two years ago i couldn't even remember his face let alone his name and uh yeah she goes oh hi brad or i couldn't I can't remember, <laughs> still, don't remember. I still don't remember <laughs> <laughs> yes i had she just remembered and um yeah at a high pressure moment he that was probably the greatest moment of his life with say on oh i'm sure life. it would be and she also emails a lot of people after the events yeah all the time yeah all the time and she usually writes down on the scorecard you know what they do for a job or where they live or something that might be important and she writes that down and, and you know, and when she sees them or when she emails them, she'll mention that. You know, so. Now, you do a bit of multitasking as well. Tell me, you, which fascinated me, you play golf courses all over the world, nearly, and you blog about it. Explain what you do. I was one, I was, I had an interest in course design for a long time and I've been good friends with Mike Clayton and Mike Clayton uh, got me on a, just a podcast uh, recently for uh, you know talking about some of the courses I've played and every week off I have I sort of go and play you know one of the top 100 courses and like I'll go to the middle of Nebraska in the sand hills where it takes like six <laughs> hours to drive and there's no one there and hillbillies everywhere and stuff and I'll play this great course and, <laughs> or I'll go and play you know Muirfield or you know St Andrews and uh, you know just anywhere that uh, you know is known for a great golf course so I do that and that's like gives me another interest apart from you know, yeah, catting for not so as though, Not as though you have nothing to do. Yeah, that's right. Is she yeah. that easy? Um, Tom, we know that you'll be in the mix come Sunday. I mean, you, you, and you're going out now. You're going to actually you know enjoy what? your day, regardless of whether she plays badly or not. She's, he's going to enjoy his you day. This is the day she's going to get angry with me too. And it's going to be Yeah, I know. I know. I know I'm not going to have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tom. We'll uh, let you get back to your job. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, thanks. <laughs>